the following array formula extracts corresponding values from a table or a data set using a lookup value uh, and in other words if this value here matches a value in this or multiple values in this cell range here the corresponding value is returned or corresponding values and simply copy the formula here from my website and select a cell and click in the formula bar and paste the formula and you need to re change the uh, cell references here the first argument in this formula uh, is a cell reference and it should be pointing at your table so I'm going to move this first and then this is the first argument and move that to your table and then this is the lookup value here G8 so move that to your lookup value and this is the cell range you want to do the lookup in and it's this so I'm going to move that to this column here the next cell reference here should be have must have the same size as this cell range here and to make it simple move it to this so you can see that they match and the next one two it's this one and now enter it as an array formula press and hold control and shift and then press enter once and now you can see that this lookup value matches this lookup value and the corresponding value is returned here and if you have multiple values simply click on the black dot here and hold and then drag to cells below and that will copy the formula and paste it to the cells below and there is another value here lemon and France is here so France is equal to France and lemon is returned so how does this formula work First, it compares the lookup value with the values in this, in this column. And to do that, I use a cell reference to the lookup value, and then an equal sign, and that is a logical operator. And then point, create a um, cell reference to the cells in this column here the lookup column and to I want these cell references to be absolute they they don't change when I copy the formula so click on the first cell reference and press function key F4 and these dollar signs appears and do the same thing with this cell reference press F4 and this and now they are locked and then enter a pre eh, an array formula press and hold control and shift and then press enter once and release all keys and then copy this or enter it 
in a cell refer cell range that it has the same size as this cell range. And you do that by click and hold on the first value and then drag down so they match and then click in the formula bar and press and hold control shift and enter. So what happens here? This formula here compares the value in B3 with the values in this cell range here. And it returns an array of values that you can see here. And the first value, the lookup value compared to this value, France equals equal France, and that returns true. France equal Germany, and that returns false. France equal Italy, false. France, true, and Italy, false. So now we know which values here is equal to the lookup value. And the next thing is to use an if function. And to do that, copy this. And then an equal sign and the if function and the beginning parenthesis. And then the logical test here. And here is the logical expression. But I don't need the beginning equal sign, so remove that. And the next argument is if this is true. And here I want the position of this of these values. And to do that, I'm going to build an array with a match function and the row function and then this cell range and then ending parenthesis and then a comma and a row again and this parenthesis no this cell reference and an absolute cell reference both here and here and then an ending parenthesis and if the value is false, it returns nothing or a blank. And now enter this as an array formula. And extend it to cells below. And enter it as an array formula. And now you can see that the first value in the array has the row number 1. And the fourth value in the, the array has row number four. And I want to explain this here in the second argument in the if function. So let's begin with the row function here. And I'm going to enter it here next to these values here. And the row function returns, in this case, an array from this cell reference here. And the first row is 3. And you can see that by the cell reference number here. And the last row number is 7. So it returns 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But I want, I don't want the row number here, I want the relative row number from this cell reference. So I want it to start with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so on. And to do that, I'm using the match function. And then in the second argument, the same thing, the row numbers. And then an ending parenthesis. So the match function will return if looks for number 3 in this array here. 
and I think it will be easier to understand if I convert these values to constants and these two. So the first value, row number is 3, and the match function looks for number 3 in this array here, and it finds it in the first position. So the first value in, in the returning array is number 1, and 4 is found in position 2, so the second value is 2, and so on. So this returns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I will show you that. Here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now you understand why the if function returns 1 here and a blank here, because this is false, so it returns a blank value. And so on. The next thing to do is to use the small function. And the small function ignores blank values or text values. So copy this array formula and then equal sign small function. The array formula and then I want the smallest value in the first cell. I'm going to use rows and then um, cell reference to the cell A1 and I want that to be absolute so that, that won't change. And the second part of the first cell reference is also A1 and that is relative so no dollar signs there and then an ending parenthesis for the rows function and then an ending parenthesis for the small function and now enter that as an array formula and the smallest row in this array here is 1 and now look when I copy this to cells below. Click and hold on the black dot and drag down. And the rows function here returns 1 because this cell range, cell reference here points to the first cell. And then the next cell below, the relative cell reference here changes to A2 and you can see that here and now this cell reference here has two rows so the rows function returns two in this case and that will return the second smallest value in this array here and the second smallest value here is number four so number four is returned in this cell here and in the next cell it returns an error because there are no more values in this in this array the last thing to do is to use the index function to fetch the values from this cell range here so copy this formula here and then equal sign index function beginning parenthesis and then this cell range here and then press function key f4 to make them absolute and then a comma and the next argument in the index function is the row number you want to use so if the row number here returns 1 this value here is returned, and if it is 4, this value here is returned. And you can see here that you don't need to use the third argument here. So I'm just going to enter an ending parenthesis. And now look what happens. The first value is apple 
and that match this one here and the second value is lemon and it's this here and the third one is nothing so it returns an error here because there are only two matches in this array here this one and this one 